Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the best priced Class C motorhome that can truly tow 20,000 pounds. This is the 2021 Nexus Ghost Model 34 DS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the World Toy Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited to be taking a look at this Nexus Ghost. Now you guys might be wondering, hey Matt, you guys don't sell Ghost in Florida, so where are you? Andrea, why don't you tell everybody where we are? We are in Wixom, Michigan. Absolutely. So before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. I'm loving the weather here. It is beautiful here at headquarters in Wixom, Michigan. And you know what, you guys? I'm really loving having the opportunity to review all these beautiful RVs. Yes, because yes. like this ghost and everything, it's stuff that we don't sell in Florida, so it's so much fun. Let's begin. Model is 34DS, Nexus Ghost. This is Nexus's top of the line super seat, badass and awesome. It is powered on an international MV chassis. Let me, let me, let me, hang on. Hang yeah, on you gotta second. show that hang engine, Matt. What am I doing? Look at this. Wow. It's powered on an international MV chassis. Andrea, 360 horsepower Cummings engine with an Allison 3000 transmission, 800 foot pounds of torque, and it's the best priced motorhome, Super C, Class A, Class B, whatever, that can tow 20,000 pounds. Now that is a Super C. That's a miracle right there. I absolutely love it. It's the MV chassis, so it's a little bit bigger. And look, just real big, awesome, and nice. I love the headlight designs and everything. Up front here, we have a nice, seamless fiberglass front cap now it's not a super cap where it goes all the way over but it is nice because it does give you nice visibility when driving down the road right here we do have cameras incorporated in your left side right side also reverse and then look at these tires andrea these are the 255-70 r 22.5 continental tires that's a lot of rubber with the accuride rims have these nice big bus style mirrors i love that very easy look at this step when you're going when you're getting in this you're going camping you know what i'm saying no we're going trucking oh we're going trucking yeah <laughs> this is a truck that can camp this isn't a camper that can truck yeah you know right that's where you fill up your diesel fuel matt i like these doors and then look at this chrome so on pickup we do remo remove this film and it looks all chrome and shiny. Oh, look at that. Look how big and deep wow. the storage is. Andre, if you can step back for a second and get this beautiful paint job. I absolutely love this color scheme. It's the ghost, it kind of looks like a ghost. Black, silver, gray, and white. I love that. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Very nice. Then you got that right there. The batteries. Yep. Model is 34DS and the actual tip to tip length is 34 feet long even. You have a nice power awning with LED lights. It's a little bit of a shorter awning because you do have a slide out right here. Because this is a Nexus motorhome, they do two things that I love. They use the Asdale sidewall composite so it will never delaminate on you on the outside. Also, they use it on the interior wall so you won't get that formaldehyde smell. Also, steel cage construction. It's 72% stronger than aluminum, which means 72% safer than aluminum. Safety first, y'all. Look at this. Just wow. real nice big storage doors. And look, when they slam laps, they do. I really like the doors a lot. Yeah. Here's your propane tanks, Andrea. And Andrea, we will have all the tank sizes, lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here. Bing for everybody to watch on television. Oh, interesting place for the TV. Yep. Right there. Oh, oh, NACA, NACA, NAXA. 
That's my favorite band of television. Yeah. Remember, you guys, he was part of the program, No Child Left Behind. Well, how do you how do you say N A X A? Naxa, but yeah. not NACA. Oh, NACA, <laughs> know how. <laughs> Look at that. More wow. storage around there. That's impressive. And you got an electrical outlet right there. Yep. Coming around the back, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. 20,000 pound hitch. In this motorhome, can tow 20,000 pounds. I like the ghost. I like the look. I like the Nexus. You got your backup camera right there. Also, um, there's no ladder for the roof. It is a one piece fiberglass roof with two air conditioning units. And then look at this. This is the tail light with the Nexus logo right there. That's awesome. Pretty cool. Finishing up with the driver's side. 50 amp power cord with a reel. I love that. These power cords are heavy, y'all, in the cold. But even in the warm, when I'm pulling this out, it was heavy. So when we're all done filming, I just push a button and it retracts itself all the way in. I love that. Your inverter right there. Look, this you don't see on this price motorhomes, okay? But I like that. You know why? It's just a super seat. You're going mudding. You're going to the track. You might need to hose off before going inside. I like that. Your hookup right here. And then look at that black That's and gray tank. Very dome. nice, clean. Yep. And look, it, it's good for even more storage. Wow. There's your low point valves as well. Cool. Here's your water heater right here. Okay. More storage. Yep. Okay. Uh, Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. I love that. Love those doors. Yep. Okay, the other side of the storage. Yep. And then Andrea, here's where you fill up your DEF. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go, take a look. All right, Skippy. Go on inside. Oh, wow. Okay, everyone, slides are in. Yeah, three Ooh, slide outs this. in this little motor home. Very nice. Plenty of walkway. Big Plenty walkway. of room to get to the bathroom. And I like that you can still use the bed even if you're boondocking. Yep. Andrea, I like this. I can get all three slide outs open at one time. And while the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Nexus Ghost and three things you don't like about it. Nexus is probably one of our biggest supporters on the channel. And it's not that we give them biased reviews. They love reading the comments and they love making changes to their products based off of what you guys say the RV review crew. So if you could do that, that is awesome. It helps out Nexus and it also boosts us on YouTube. And we thank you guys. And we thank you. So let's get started. Andre, where should we get started? Oh gosh, you know we gotta start up here. Oh, okay. In this nice cockpit area. Yes. International MV chassis, okay. That seat looks way too far up. It is, it just needs to be moved back. Okay, okay, okay. So you ready for this? Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at the screen. Very nice, you ready? Yep. Oh. Oh my God, it's being I purring. hope our viewers can hear that. Oh, oh you can. You can, she's purring. Beautiful. Have your digital dash right there international when you're driving you're being a trucker now andre can you make it in there i think i can okay. oh that cup holder i do not like that cup holder there i think it's it would be okay if the seat was slide back all right is there power on it no not well this the the going back and forth isn't we'll try up front no i think it's uh, yeah, I don't feel any switches, and okay. also it's got that fluid on it, the, the grease. Oh, okay. Well, then don't worry about it. But still, nice, comfortable seat up there I when like it is. It. I like it. I, I want to go trucking. Yeah, <laughs> air ride suspension as well. Again, a 360 Cummins engine with an Allison 3000 transmission. I love that. Why don't you uh, climb on out? Okay. I hate that cup holder. Yeah. All right. 
All right, we're gonna leave that on and then check this out. We do have a nice bunk over the cab. It's not the biggest bunk over the cab in the world. I'm gonna hit this light switch. There we go. Yep. It's not the biggest, but it's definitely not the smallest, okay? And I believe it holds 500 pounds, Andrea. Very nice. Wow. You got a TV up there at the next R. It does swivel out. It does swivel out. And the reason why I like how it swivels out is because over here in the living room, you do have the sofa. It is kind of an awkward spot, but at the same time, it's a little bit okay because this living room area, it feels so big, nice, and spacious with the opposing slide outs. You do have seat belts in both right here. Up. Is it coming down? No. Up. Then look at that. Andrea, just push that button right there. And now the slow rise shades Power came down. shades. Very nice. Very, very nice. This is a tri-fold sofa and it does make a bed. And then look at this. We have storage above. Nice cabinetry. You know, Nexus has been making some interior changes. It's still not where I want it to be, but it does look a lot better than previous model years. And you guys, if you're wondering why they have that emblem there, we actually learned something about that. Yes. So the slide outs have the manual override right there. And so that's where the mechanism is. Yes. Cool. Over here in the dinette, look at this. Look at this. This is a Batman dinette. I love that. It's nice and comfy. You have solid surface countertop. This dinette does drop down to make the bed. Very big and comfortable. I like all the windows around. And then look at this light fixture. Very nice. Beautiful. We have cabinetry above. And uh -huh. storage under the dinette. Now this is one of my favorite features that they have. Well, let's show that. You actually have a lock on it, everybody. So look at that. Nice. And it locks and it's very easy. And it is on the other side as well. Wow. Andrea. Okay. Yes. Did you get the cargo carrying capacity? Cargo carrying capacity. 5,318 pounds. That is insane. Nice. Cool. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $269,000. $737 MSRP. We have a sale price 27% off to $197,878. That is a crazy sale price, making it the best price motorhome that could truly tow 20,000 pounds. But Andrea, yes, we can get everybody in America a better price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website, Matt's RV Reviews, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page. If you live in Florida, contact me directly. But if you don't, well, actually, no. Uh, for this product, you want to contact General RV because we do not sell this product in Florida. So just go to generalrv.com, click get lowest price, and make sure you tell them you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews so you get an even better price than that. Andrea, let's continue the video. Great. Okay, so here we have the kitchen, you guys. Kind of start out here with the convection microwave. Very nice. Great size. Glad, hey, Andrea, I'm glad it's a convection microwave now. Me too. We got a little uh, Lily pad of power. Lily pad of power, <laughs> yes ma'am. We got back and side splash. Hey, do you notice anything about the uh, back splash? Yeah, it's more colorful with yeah, like chrome. With the gold, yes. yep, yep, uh, exactly. We got the three burner cooktop with glass cover. Uh-huh. Very nice to medic. And we got two drawers here for pots and pans. Very nice. Over here, look at this. Wow, that's weird. I, I actually like the cabinets. Yeah, in a, in a triangle. Yes. And look at the sink in the triangle as well. Yes. It's solid surface countertop. And, oh, these are heavy, Matt. I don't oh. know if I can get them out. Dang, damn it. 
Hang on, hold my beer. <laughs> They're like in there, huh? There we go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so as you can see, you've got a pretty big sink. Got a nice extension there. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. I do what I can. I see that they have nice cabinets down here underneath the sink for your trash can. Uh-huh. There's your water heater. And here we have three drawers. One, two, two. Three, that's three drawers, three. Andrea. Oh, that one's stuck too. Oh, you got it. There we go. Oh, Turn on those lights. beautiful. It's a little bit brighter. And there are mood lights in here too. Mm. Okay. Look at this. Nice. I can't reach this cat. Well, maybe I can. Yep. You there we go. You just can't get anything out of it. <laughs> Unless you're really tall. Okay, I love this full residential refrigerator. Yes. Lines yes. Off yes. Door inverter. Yes. That is great. Very nice. I really like that a lot. Andrea, something I would like to add is the AC units right here. It is two air conditioning units with metal ductwork that goes through the whole RV, just like your house. Nice. Cool. Okay, into the bathroom. Uh-oh, ready shower. We all know how I feel about this. Oh, hang on a you second. You can switch those bedroom lights on. Yeah. Okay, and look, we have a pocket door right here. Yes. Pocket door. Oh. And then here's the radius shower. Okay, you know what, Matt? Uh -huh. That has a lot of height. Yeah, the height in here it's, is crazy. Yeah. Right? This is great for tall people. Um, you guys know I don't like this radius shower, but at the same time, this is one of the smallest ghosts that they make. And they're trying to maintain a certain length. All right, of so you, 34 feet. That door right there has a magnet, so when you are, you know, back here, you yep. can close that for privacy. Yep. Inside this bathroom here, we got the toilet. We got your sink right here, medicine cabinet. Okay. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Is it? Oh Fantastic man. Fantastic fan. Yes, fan or just a power fan. Nice solid surface countertops. And. The toilet, wow. I will say this. Your feet aren't dangling. I. It looked like my feet would have been dangling, but they're not. I am still more elevated than what I normally am, but it's not the dangle. And then look at this little cutout here. I like oh, that. Oh, that was very smart. Yep. Where's the toilet paste holder? holder? I have no, I don't think there's one in here. Good, even better. It would be over here. Andrea. You would put one in. Do you know what this means? Yes. This means the four piece. Awesome. Shink. Swing. Can you swing that cabinet open right there? Okay. Very nice. All right, into the bedroom. We have a nice king size bed. Andre, why don't you walk around it? Okay. <laughs> nice king size bed right there. Okay, we got cabinetry above. Nice headboard. Right, very nice. I'm gonna open this one. Uh huh. Very nice. Yep. And then over here, we have cabinetry. We have wardrobe. Wardrobe, thank you, thank you. Oh, are these power as well? Um, no. Yes, oh, no. These ones aren't. Nice. But I like that because they give you the daytime shade and the, the privacy shade. Very nice. And there is two drawers under that wardrobe mat if you just want to open one. One. Nice size. And two. Also notice the heat duct right there. None of them are in the floor. They're not crumb catchers. Oh, wow. Yep, good right there. Um, oh, I like that, how yes, it opens. Yes, And you guys, you know what? I actually do like the balances. Yeah, no, it looks good. Again, the next is making a lot of interior changes. Got a cubby down here. Yep, yep. And the other wardrobe here. Yes, <clears throat> and a pocket door for the bedroom. Also, Andre, I do want to mention one thing that this motorhome does have auto leveling right there. Awesome. And as great as it is, Andre, and as nice as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andre, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, first, well, let me go first. I do not like this bathroom setup. It's primarily because of the shower it's, I, I, I just don't like what's going on. You know, the shower, it's pretty much in the bedroom. I know we can close it off and everything. It's just something that I'm not a huge fan of. 
But at the same time, it's because they're staying at 34 feet. Yes. They're not calling this a 34 footer and making it 38 feet. It's truly 34 feet. So that's one. Okay, so this is my dislike. Two. Um, I, I know this is a cute design and everything, but I feel like the whole corner kitchen here with the sink and everything just took up a lot of counter space. Really? Yes. I, I'm not, I like that. I, I think I, it looks good. I don't know. I just, I like the way this looks, but not this. Cause I, wow. I feel like there's a lot of counter space that was, you know, wasted with this Andrea, area. Andrea, crazy. Cause I actually like that. So that's two. And then number three. I'm going to say over here. With how big this space was, I wish all of this component was inside of here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, it just is what it is. Like, if I actually wouldn't be mad at this if, it was if just... this was filled up with stuff. But with how big and open this was, I, they, they could have done that. Or not just that, just having a cover over it that locks. Yeah, or something. Yeah, just so it's not, you know, being exposed. Right. Okay. So that's one. Or no. That's, that's three. three things we dislike. <laughs> now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andre, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I'm going to comment on the exterior. Okay. Well, hang on, hang on. I'm going to bundle that. Okay. With the 50 amp power cord. Okay. With the reel. With the reel. And then you're saying the exterior? Yes. Look, this is beautiful. I love the body paint, the colors. And you know what, Matt? I really love these doors. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to combo it again. This is a triple combo, right? This is all uh, the color and the quality and construction. You can feel the quality in the doors when you slam. Yes. Yep. So that's one. Two. I love the opposing slide outs in here, right? Super awesome, badass. This is, believe it or not, I, oh, I'm gonna, oh my God, so many comments. In the ceiling height in here. If you're tall, if you're over six feet, you can stand in this without feeling claustrophobic. And with the double slide outs, for as short of a motorhome as this is, it is still very tall and wide, you know yes. what I'm saying? So that's two. And then, oh, snap. Oh, snap. We have to add another dislike. Oh. <laughs> I think maybe down the future they possibly, ho no, hopefully can do it. No air horn. I know. That is another dislike. Um, especially on a big old mean chassis like this. Uh, but did talk to Dave Middleton when we took a factory tour. If you want to see that video, we have it right here. Bing! Um, with the owner of Nexus. And they are working with International to get an air horn added. Woohoo! <laughs> so one more light. One more light. Follow me. final thing I love about this motorhome is this nice international MV chassis. It's super awesome and badass and the price of this motorhome y'all is expensive okay. It's expensive but it is also the best price motorhome that gives you 20,000 pounds of towing and that makes it super awesome. Well Andrea that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you have any questions about this Nexus Ghost, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page. Also, we don't sell these in Florida. So if you contact General RV's internet department, make sure you say you saw it on Matt's RV Reviews. That way, we're gonna give you some mat money or something. We don't know yet. We're gonna give you some sort of You're coupon. You're gonna get something for sure. You're gonna get yes. something um, to know that you watch my videos and to make sure you get the best price. Absolutely. Thanks so much for watching, Andrea. Oh, look, sorry. Look, look, look at that face. 
I see all men. I have things I have to say. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Yo, that face was you priceless. So forgot about me. I forgot about a lot today. Okay, so hey everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. You guys know Nexus does read the comments. Things are changing, so make sure you leave that feedback. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that we check out our keychains. Bing! Oh. We have them through the whole month of September. Yes. So at the end of September, that they won't be sold anymore. Because they're all being batch yes. filled. So and they're all being made to order. We won't have any extras. Right. And you guys, check out Club Art Deco if you haven't joined already on Facebook. Bing! And other than that... Well, well, hang on, hang on. Tell them about Club Art Deco. Okay, so we have Club Art Deco on Facebook is a way to get... In you know, in personal contact with Matt and myself. Also, you guys can talk to each other. It's a lot of fun. And it's all about camping and RVing and fun things. No poli politics, no politics, no religion, anything like that. Okay, we're yep. trying to keep it a happy channel. It's just camping. It's just camping. And if you're on Club Art Deco, you would have known we were at headquarters this week yes. recording some <laughs> awesome videos. Right. Also, uh, if you leave comments on Club Art Deco of what RVs you want us to review, yes. that uh, that's how we decide which ones we're going to do next. And thanks to a viewer, they wanted us to do the ghost. Yes, and I hope you guys are safe and you guys are doing well. Thanks awesome. for watching. Thanks so much for watching, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.